Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play John. You're not where you were in the previous episode. I can explain. We really need to give Cheeto his pages back. It has been stinking forever, and we actually really want to get this new cheat from him. So yes, let's relinquish these pages we weren't really using, and much obliged. My third cheat is Fall Proof. If you enable this cheat, you can fall from anywhere in the game as long as it's not a bottomless pit and take no damage. This is gonna be extremely helpful in the next level, so we're gonna wanna go turn that on real fast before we do anything else. So, I need to go back to my hem temple real quick. Basically. Where the heck is F? Oh, it's over here, okay. Not too low, not too high. Nice, all right, sweet. Now we've activated full proof. And now I need to go turn it on before I forget to do that. And I know this has been just the worst intro to a video ever, but now we can finally get started. And okay, now that that is done, we can finally start this next level, the seventh world in the game. I hope you guys are excited because this one is gonna be a lot of fun. It's Hail Fire Peaks, everybody. And depending on the version of the game you're playing, you're either gonna love this place or hate it. And two years! Finally, I've made it to the warmth of the lava world with a belly full of water. Well, I'm happy for you, Kobe, but man, you gotta shave, dude. That's not a good look for you as he enters the train station of Hailfire Peaks and dances. I Okay. All right. I'm not. I, I'm not gonna question his life choices. I'm. I, I'm just saying that's a bit odd. And yeah. Back to what I was talking about. This level will either be one of your favorites or one of your most hated because the original N64 could not handle how huge this place was. And this part specifically. And when you're flying. Oh God. It was laggy. I speak from personal experience because yeah, that happens a lot. And first thing I want to do. I'm just gonna take these dudes down. You don't need the golden feathers, but hey, I'm lazy and stupid, so that's what I'm gonna do. And just right about now, we should get. Hey, I don't recall you paying for a tour of my volcano. I'm gonna burn your fairy hat. Fairy? I'm sir. I'm I am a bear. That is the farthest thing from a fairy. Anyways, he's gonna he's gonna chug a giant fireball at us, and his aim isn't the best in the world. And as a result, he will give us access to a flight pad, which is well instrumental in defeating the first boss of this world. Yes, I said first, mm -hmm. more of that later. Usually the first thing we do when we enter a world is get the moves, right? Not this time, we're actually gonna go fight a boss straight off the bat, which is kind of different, which is kind of cool, I guess. But yeah, this is just a little shortcut I thought I'd open. Might be helpful for something a bit later on, and yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of fire going on here. Let's put an end to that. Well, we're not gonna put an end to all of it, but at least we'll stop this one dude from hitting us with fire. And as you can see, yeah, this is one huge zone. There are no loading. There's just, it's giant. The other side of Hailfire Peaks isn't so bad, but we'll get to that in due time. But first things first, we must fly into this hole. God dang it, I, I mess that up every time. How was, uh, whatever. <laughs> Let's enter the top of the volcano. Well, there's conveniently a ladder that somehow has not burned up by now. Alrighty then, and chili billy hunt spicy dragon. <laughs> ah, at last, you must be the pizza delivery boy. No, just a local jiggy hunter. <laughs> Lies, I bet you got my 12 foot spicy meat special in that backpack. Afraid not, Warface. <laughs> like cowboy, man. I are not, partner. It's like, oh man, show out. Because you're gonna get us killed, but... No, not really, because this boss is easy as dump and... <laughs> so cold. So you're telling me all of this magma, the hottest substance in the world that no life can exist... Heck, zero life can exist in, almost. But you're afraid of crystallized eggs. Yeah, I missed the line. I'll give you a lickin'. That's some witty dialogue, I'll tell you that one. <laughs> Rare are the kings, I tell you, the kings! But as long as you talent trot, this is the easiest thing in the world. Admittedly though, I really liked this boss as a little kid. Then again, I did have like a love for dragons. Not dragon tails, though, I hate that bullcrap. <laughs> I'm gonna get a lot of people, man, dragon tails is my life, I hate it. It's like, yeah, okay, I'm just talking about my personal experiences. Anyways. You shoot a cannon enough times, it's eventually gonna disappear. So now we need to go back to the other one. Yes, there are four, but eh, it's not really that important. Just keep jumping over his tongue. That's a really cool combination, though. Like, 
lime green and red. I, I dig it. I dig it rare. I enjoyed it. Yeah, we need to keep spamming these eggs, actually. Down he goes! Chili Billy has been eradicated. Enough! I've changed my mind. Forget the pizza! But I'm sure my brother will still want his. I got your pizza! It's a man. Nice, uh, lower half, and hmm. I reckon I'll go get a couple of Big Al burgers. Well, get, bring me some fries. Cause I like fries. Just, mo mostly from Big Al's, okay. No. <laughs> Honestly, like, fries are like, I, I usually never get fries. It's just like, I don't get it. It's like, just eat the... To me, burgers and fries never go together. And that is going to sound like heresy to everybody. But it's like, I don't get... I just like the burger, man. <laughs> Anyways. Once you've defeated him, you luckily don't need to really worry about his fireball attack that'll do. Now you can explore this area in peace. And actually sleep a little bit. First thing that we need to do, though, now that we've uh, beaten that guy... So we need to go ahead and grab some no oh, God. We need to grab some notes and also get the move for banjo in this area. And let me think. Yeah, I want to drop down here. And if I can do that, yeah, fallproof will keep me alive. And I'll cushion the blow a little bit. That'll be fun. Now let me think about this really quickly. Uh, what would be the best way to get? Well, I guess I can get those notes whenever I want. It's not really a big deal. It's basically like a couple of notes in just this very annoying area. And it's like, I got to find a time to go down there and get them because my route I, I don't need to go there actually so it's kind of like eh, I'll do it eventually I guess but yeah come over here to get Banjo's one and only move Shack Pack this one makes you safe and small to fit through gaps in a wall first hold Eleanor then press right us down shut up John you're never gonna get that down because they changed the buttons Anywho, <laughs> now that we have that we can turn into my ultimate form the backpack yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's kind of funny, actually, but... Yeah, now that we have that... Geronimo! Ow. Ow. Yeah. Might as well showcase it a little bit. Basically, now we can go in liquid and survive down here. And I know this has a banjo switch on it, but we don't actually need it. But if you let go of the trigger, something bad's gonna happen. Yeah, you're gonna just immediately leave the water. It looks pretty funny, actually. And Huh. You know, I do need to go in there. But I want to do that right now. Yeah, no, I, I really, I'd rather not actually. So I'll do, I'll do that a bit later, I suppose. But right now we need to reunite with Kazooie. So let's go do that real fast. And I'm just telling you guys straight up, if they didn't have the warps here, oh my gosh, this level would not necessarily be as fun. Luckily for me, they have them. And yeah, these notes are annoying me. So I know I'm gonna have like two notes remaining, and it's like, oh, I don't stinking know where they are. And they're right down here. And they're a pain in the butt if you miss them. And this is going to take me to where I need to go anyways. So let's just get them right now. Yeah. They're just right here. Turd move rare. Not go. <laughs> Maybe a little salty because I couldn't necessarily find those ones in practice. But whatever. This takes us right back to where we were. But since we have the talent trot, we could actually go back up. Which is why I didn't want to do it when I was banjo, obviously. Technically, you don't need the talent trot, really, when you're solo banjo. And you don't, oh, God. I'm just going to fall down there. Why the heck not? This might actually be safe. Oh, wow. Yeah, I didn't even take damage, so I guess you could do that. But, yeah, this is the Coliseum of Hailfire Peaks Fireside. There's a bunch of crap to do in here, and I don't want to stink and do it right now. So, guess what we're not going to do right now? Stink and do it. Instead, we're going to open up this passage for later. and do that hopefully in the next episode, depending on how things go here. And if I, if I can act fast, basically, I think. If this isn't the suction cups... Is it? I can't tell. Rumble, get out of the way. There, yeah, it is. We're gonna use these to grab a Cheeto page super fast and then get started on this area. This area has like the... Uh, I don't want to say it's dumb or bad or complicated. It's just one of the most like... Uh, there's a lot of steps to it. Uh, jiggies in the whole game. Debatably. And there's some I'm thinking of in the next world that are gonna be kind of a pain in the butt, but I mean, we're gonna save that for when we <laughs> when we actually get there. So a ways away. This is one of the longer worlds actually, because you got a lot of stuff to do. Most of the uh, most of the uh, levels can be beaten in like an hour. Not this one though. And okay, that was an awkward uh little thing going on there. And as you walk down, you'd be like, oh, there's your switch. Yes, there is. We're gonna turn that on ASAP because I wanna grab that Jinjo. And the switch is... <laughs> you can figure it out! Uh, okay. <laughs> you get, why is this place so dark? I don't get it. Okay. Whatever, though. Yeah, when you get that Jinjo. The only way to do that 
Let's set the golden feathers, and the game is saving. Fantastic commentary, John. Now, uh, there's so many things in here, and it's so dark. It's like hard to like get them all, man. Ugh. I try my best, though. And yeah, there's a stone dude. Why the heck is that? You'll soon find out after I blow this place up. Please be. Dang it. Just eggs. Wait, wait, what? No way. They're just out in the open? I swear. Yesterday, I was looking for these. I was looking for this for literally, it felt like an hour. And they're just right out in the open. Now I feel extremely stupid, and... Uh, okay, I need to say this right now. When I was in elementary school, they would have this pizza, and it had this exact same texture, because they would always burn it. And now I am very hungry, god dang it, because I'm nostalgic for this nasty pizza that I didn't even like when I was a kid. God dang it, how'd I mess that jump up? Ugh, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Getting to this guy is pretty much impossible unless you hit that, so actually, I want to say that. There's some pretty cool tricks you can do in this game, but... When you have Banjo in, because you can go through the waterfall of flames, I guess, and grab him. So now that we've taken care of that, we need to do this jiggy. And I'm not looking forward to it, because we basically have to swap back and forth between Banjo and Kazooie, and it's a little bit on the tedious side. Just throw that out there. And I might have to destroy this gargoyle, actually, so I'm going to quickly let's give us full health. Then try and snipe him out with my grenade eggs. He should be right top of that. He's like, eh, I can't shoot you because you're too close. Yeah, now you're dead. You should have took your shot when you had a chance. You can't hesitate in war, or else you'll turn into a mummy. <laughs> that means dead. All right, moving on. We're gonna climb this chain that totally looks like you can't climb it. Throw all that out there. And I believe if we just do a little jump, yeah, we can get on this and then go to a little secret area. And yeah, that's why we wanted to destroy that gargoyle. It's not really a gargoyle, but he's like, just, he's a little ghoul. He's hanging out on the wall and he's going, ha ha, I don't like Banjo. And it's like, man, why can't you like Banjo? He's the second best character in this game, man. That's messed up, but yeah. Now we will activate this pad, in which Kazooie needs to get access to. Now, how do we actually access this pad, you may be wondering. We need to get the flight pad. At least I think you need the flight pad. I don't see how you could access that without it. And make sure you don't die when you're using Kazooie, because then you have to repeat the whole process over again. This is why this uh, little shortcut is very helpful because it takes you back to the flight pad from the beginning of the area and also that warp so it's kind of nice to have especially when doing this so let's get back to where that pizza coated lava is at <laughs> and I was going low instead of high that could be a bad combo now you're gonna see wow that Coliseum is big yeah it is and I have lost where on earth the uh, pad is no I found it nice so now we need to get in there uh, okay nice <laughs> like a glove. Totally not. So now that we stepped on this with Kazooie, it's time for Banjo to go again. Luckily, Banjo's is literally right across from him, so that's kind of nice. So, uh, assuming I don't mess this jump up, which, well, it's me we're talking about, right? <laughs> Anything could happen. We should get to it really quickly, and then if I just time my jump properly, we can get back to the ground level and get the jiggy. Kind of complicated, kind of not complicated. I might have just overdone it, but when you're trying to figure this out for the first time, it's kind of convoluted. I don't think I'm using that word right, or am I? Not even scholars know for crying out loud, so this is kind of why I wanted the uh, slow fall ability, because I really don't trust myself, and that would have been a great place to grab Banjo, and I really should have done it, come to think of it, but yeah, the fact you can't take any damage when you fall is going to be helpful in a lot more scenarios than that. And all right, now that we have that, it's time to reunite. <laughs> Oh, wait, crap. <laughs> I thought I canceled my jump fast enough when the game would register. Oh, he was just jumping a second time. He wasn't actually falling to the ground. But little does the game know I'm a giant liar and I messed it up. And come to think of it, okay, we could go back in here and do this Coliseum area thing, but I hate it so much with the passion of a thousand smiley sons that I drew in kindergarten. And I made the frowny sun, and my teacher's like, now why would the sun be frowning? And I was like, because it's on fire. And she got really mad. Anywho, we're gonna use this ability really quickly and split up again and go inside a giant volcano with Kazooie. It's just gonna be the funnest time ever if I could actually find the exit. Oh, I might actually want some health. Luckily, there are some health honey 
combs right here. Oh, God, here. I actually need a lot of health for what I'm about to do, and I keep messing up, dude. Gosh. So this is inside the volcano. You're going to notice we have bubbles. Yeah, because it is so hot in here, and you can only stay in here for a little bit of time. So I need to hustle and do this puzzle as quickly as possible. Basically, we're going to step on six switches. And progressively, there's just they're gonna have more convoluted uh, patterns and stair. It's gonna fill up with a bunch of platforms, and we got a platform on them. What the heck? They're putting platforms on my platformer? That's crazy! It's not a Bubsy stinking cool. I don't care. We're gonna stink and step on number three now. And so far, we're doing all right, and I'm cool with that. But the way my brain works is the second I start doing good, it's time to mess everything up. <laughs> oh, it's like, dang, you got straight A's. Time to almost fail. <laughs> no, not really. Actually, this semester, come to think of it, man, I'm kicking butt this semester. It's actually because I took five classes instead of, <laughs> ironically enough, I get the five button when I'm talking about five classes. No, but I took three classes instead of my usual four, so that's kind of nice. It's been nice, you know, just work on YouTube videos a little bit more than or have a little more spare time. Heck, I'm always like killing myself for like five math classes. <laughs> it's like, what? Is, why am I so stupid? And the answer to that is, um, I can't beat this guy. And that's really the problem at the end of the day. Uh, John, get up, get up there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay. <laughs> the actual way we need to do this is we need to come over here. And I'm, oh man, if you don't know about the double bubbles, I feel bad for you, man. I do, I do. Okay. Don't screw this up, John! Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. John, that, that is, that was bad. That was horrible. What is, what is wrong with you? Get out of here, you stinking flying genie guy. What are you even trying to, there we go, okay. Oh, God, all right. <laughs> this problem is it's so dark, I can't see it. That is my only complaint with this version of the game. Everything is stinking dark. <laughs> God dang it. I had that, man! Luckily, if you mess up, all the platforms stay up, so that's kind of nice. In theory, you could probably just, if you're low on oxygen, just come out and try it again. And I swear I did this before. I know I did it before. I it was two seconds ago. God. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> once we've done that, say, another platform will take us to a bunch of question mark signs. Not that I'm ever going to use those, because I actually know where the heck I'm going. Uh, I don't know if I've elaborated on what those do. They pretty much just give you little hints on what's going on in the level. They're kind of nice if it's your first time playing, but obviously this is like my tenth, so that'd be kind of dumb if I'd use them. Real fast, though, we're going to come and get this honeycomb and skedaddle out of here, because before we end this episode off, I want to get Kazooie's move, and I guess we'll call it a day, because, oh, God. There's a lot of stuff to do here in this area. We're gonna go to the ice side now and scanners indicate location of kids. Evacuation found. Exterior door opening to enable manual viewing. Detecting earthling crosswind. Be careful. Uh, all right. So these are the aliens from Jolly Rogers Lagoon and yoinks. I <laughs> yoinks? Yoinks. So ali aliens are so sophisticated and just on a completely different level than us. Like crying out loud and they still use 1960s slang. Activate jetpack. No, cause cause that's not this game. That's just a different rare game and yeah. He falls out of a spaceship and dies. This game is dark, guys. <laughs> he just said, nope, I'm dead. Goodbye. Yeah. He just straight up dies. This game is messed up, but we'll get to that a little bit later. Instead, we're gonna get the last move for this world, Glide. Now you're lifting no big fat bear, it'll be as a glide to the air, jump it up and high your whole LZR. It's called. Can't top that rhyme, dude. Honestly, I need to be a rapper with. <sighs> idiot. Literally an idiot. All right, I'm gonna see. If I can't do this on the first try, I'm just gonna quit and like, oh, that's the end of the episode, because. Oh my gosh, guys, I've been trying this same stinking jump for so long, and I could not get it in practice. What you're actually supposed to do in here is shoot these down and get across, but that's for idiots who actually have time, and... Oh, God. So, what you have to do is, you have to just hold Z to glide, but there's like a little bit of a delay when you can glide, and it's just uh, so infuriating. I don't know why there's a little bit of a delay. And to get this Jinjo that's all the sting way over there... Hi. We need it to uh, do one of these and then time it properly. 
and get the glide going. Okay, I think that should be high enough to get to him. The trick is do not move your analog stick and from that position you should make it to him. Nice, and now we have four of the black gingos. This place is a pain in the butt. We're gonna be back here a little bit later. A little, little, little bit later. Probably it's the last thing I'm gonna do because I'm just so, so stinking lazy. But in the meantime, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Banjo Tooie in the next episode. <sighs> we go over to the Coliseum and do an extremely annoying. Uh, just, uh, I don't even want to think about it. For pretty much this whole game, the mini games have been pretty tame. But inside here. <sighs> See you guys in the next episode. I have to mentally prepare for this. <laughs> Bye.